on a Sunday afternoon in the Bronx. Two of the Tri-State area's most recognizable teams are set to meet for the second time this season. And if today's contest is anything like the first, we're all in for one heck of a treat. It's number nine, Christ the King, and number 16, St. Ray's, right now on News 12 Varsity. And as always, thanks for joining us this afternoon on News 12 Varsity. I'm Pete Mulroy, today's producer, Josh Drebsky. St. Ray's and Christ the King met a couple weeks ago at CCNY in the SNY Invitational Final. One of the best games in the history of that tournament, and certainly one of the best games of the season. A 1.67-66 thrilling victory for the Royals. Now both teams come in in a bit of, a, of a unusual territory. Christ the King third in the Brooklyn Queens AA division. St. Ray's third in the New York AA division. These are teams that have recent championships over the past few seasons. So being in third place relative uncharted territory for both. But one final two up for the Royals and the Rays each before the postseason begins. Both teams do have depth on the bench and while we'll talk about multiple players from top to bottom throughout the game. Here are two impact players that are going to have crucial moments tonight and into the postseason as we slide into our new 12 varsity player spotlight. And to no surprise, tonight we highlight Jose Alvarado. He's committed to Georgia Tech in the senior guard, averaging over 17 points a game this season. Tremendous floor general. He had 21 points, including 5 of 11 from 3 in the aforementioned SNY Invitational Final victory over St. Ray's. And on the other side, for the home Ravens, Isaiah Washington. Phenomenal senior, committed to Minnesota, averaging well over 26 points a clip this season. He had a high of 54 points in a 91-83 loss to Hayes back in February 3rd. But he struggled against CTK a few weeks ago, 3 of 12 from the floor for just 10 points. We'll come back and get things underway here at St. Ray's, the home of the Ravens in the Bronx, New York. The lineups and opening tip coming your way next right here on News 12 Varsity. Who will rise higher? Dunk harder. And go farther. The playoffs are here. Tune to News 12 Varsity all postseason long. Well, both teams ready to go here at St. Ray's, number nine, Christ the King, number 16, St. Ray's, alongside producer Josh Drevsky. I'm Pete Mulroy. Both teams being introduced here. It's senior day here in the Bronx, and we'll give you the starting five and head coach for the Royals, Joe Armatello, in his ninth season. City champs in 2010, 2011, and 2013 and 14, and he'll roll out Tyson Walker, Jose Alvarado, Kofi Cockburn, Jared Harrison Hunt, and Jalen Davis. Second meeting of the season for these two teams, and non-league opponents don't normally play twice in one season as St. Ray's represents the New York AA, Christ the King, the Brooklyn Queens AA. But they met in the SNY Invitational Final, and they'll close things out here today in the Bronx. George Lopez in his fifth season, the head coach for the number 16 Ravens, 13-10 and 10 overall, 11-5 and 5 in league play. Valero, Washington, Silverio, Lee, Delaney, the starting five for the Ravens. Looking to even this season series against Christ the King. They fell by one point at CCNY a few weeks ago, 67-66. Both teams will have a final tune-up. Really, essentially a playoff type game for these two teams before postseason play begins. And the seeding for the New York AA playoffs and Brooklyn Queen AA playoffs, the travel called on Cockburn, will be unveiled next week. So opening possession off the Tip taken by the Royals, turnover. Cockburn called for steps right to left on your screen come the Ravens. Stop and pop, Silverio, short front rim rebound, Alvarado. Matchup of two Division I guards in this game. Again, you know this if you've been following the league. Three, right side is good. And the Royals pounce first with Tyson Walker's three. Jose Alvarado, the senior, going to Georgia Tech to play for Josh Passner. This young man here, Isaiah Washington, throws it off the glass. He's committed to Minnesota to play for head coach Richard Patino, who's in the building here today. Free throw line jumper, short. A good look for Harrison Hunt. Didn't get his legs under it. Back the other way, here comes Silverio, so talented. Spins pass inside, rattled down for Zach Delaney. Delaney, six foot four senior. Solid muscle on the inside. One of the true enforcers on Coach Lopez's squad. A minute 15 into the game, 3-2, Christ the King leads. Spin off the deflect, bucket, and the harm. That's a nice 
Move by Harrison Hunt downstairs, 6'6 six, six sophomore. Averaging about six a game. He'll head to the line to try to convert the three-point play. And well off from the line. Washington will set up the offense. Good crowd here this afternoon. This game was originally supposed to tip off at 4.30. They moved it to 1 o'clock. And despite actually lousy weather outside, worse weather than we expected, good crowd on hand here for senior day. Good ball movement downstairs, Alvarado, but the bucket doesn't drop for Harrison Hunt. This one deflected out of bounds. It'll stay on this end. Oh, no, they'll get a foul on Christ the King. Jalen Davis was called for the foul. So Vario downstairs. Pump and tried to wrap around. Cockburn doesn't go. Put back doesn't drop for Michael Rivera. And it's outletted for Alvarado. Here comes Jose. Three-point line now into the corner for Jalen Davis. Inside Cockburn. Such an imposing force. Nice job downstairs by Lee to get a hand on it. And then it's out of bounds off Cockburn. So good defense by Lee. He'll give the ball back to the Ravens. Mentioned in the open that both teams third place in their respective divisions. Christ the King third in the Brooklyn Queens double-A behind Malloy and Lachlan. The Royals 15-7 and seven overall, 8-5 and five in league play. St. Ray's third in the New York double-A. That jumper short, 13-10 and 10 overall, 11-5 and five behind Stepanak and Hayes off the glass and in. It's a 7-2 lead, Christ the King. There's Delaney out high, looking downstairs for Severio. Nothing doing. Washington comes up top to get it. He struggled at the SNY final. Tough shot on the defensive Walker. Just 10 points in that loss for Washington as Cockburn is called for steps. He didn't like the call, but they blew the whistle instantaneously. And the big fella turns it over. Six five junior forward Nicholas Rivera, number twenty two, checks in the first time tonight for St. Ray's. Good start for the Royals here in the Bronx, a five point seven two advantage. Washington takes it baseline, mid range jumper off the mark, out of bounds. Royals ball. Shots not dropping for St. Ray's, most notably for Washington again. Left side, good look at a three and knocked that one down. Jose Alvarado, 10-2 Royals lead as we approach the midway point of the first quarter. And we'll get a timeout here on the floor taken by George Lopez and the Ravens. They find themselves in an eight-point hole, 4-16 to go first quarter. 10-2, Christ the King. So Ravens ball out of their own timeout. Trailing 10-2, continuous chance of defense from the Christ the King bench. They've been into this one. One of these true Catholic League battles between two of the most recognizable programs in all the league and across the city and tri-state area as well. One-handed pass, Washington rifled that one downstairs. Turnaround pass from Rivera underneath. That one didn't go home from Delaney. And here's Walker. Tried to force that one downstairs for Cockburn. Silverio keeps it himself. Two steps. And we'll head the other direction. Heard the whistle, late call on it, but it's a charge. Christ the King basketball. 
This is a St. Ray's team coming off a 83-60 victory against Monsignor Scanlon, a team that come postseason time, no one's going to want to play. And Christ the King comes off a 16-point loss last week to their biggest rival, Bishop Lachlan. Three thirty-seven, first quarter. Christ the King basketball, and they have the ever important ten-two lead. Royals erased a double-digit deficit in the SNY Invitational final to come in the second half, I should say, to come back and win that contest at CCNY. Straight away, three is good. They got it rolling through the Royals. Jalen Davis, the sophomore guard, he had thirteen points on January 28th against the Ravens. Three big ones there, it's a double digit lead. Sliced back down to single digits as Washington gets on the board with a three of his own. Walker thought about it trying to answer. Drove baseline and backs it out, one handed over for Harrison Hunt. Walked in today with Joe Arbatello. Said he likes the team, got a lot of talent obviously, one of the best guards in all the city in the tri-state area, but he said we're young but he likes the makeup of the team, and they've certainly played well here today thus far. This basketball out of bounds. And it's going to remain with the Royals, I believe. Davis set to inbound in front of the Rays bench. But a good makeup of the team. They're young, but they've got experience with that young man right there, the senior leader, Jose Alvarado. Pumps on two, and he's called for steps. It looked like he had committed to putting up the jumper. Then good closeout defense came with Washington. And Alvarado shuffled his feet. Turned over Royals. Basketball back to St. Ray's. Under two and a half to go. Here in the first quarter. Washington, fall away jumper, nicely done. And he's got five in a row to bring St. Ray's back to within six at 13-7. Two minutes to go first quarter. Walker, three right side, off the mark from Davis. And back come the Ravens on a 5-0 run. Washington off the mark, that would have sent the crowd into a frenzy. Davis hits the deck. They're going to get the foul called on Gary Grant. Alvarado into the corner. That three is good. Good stroke by Tyson Walker. Average is just under 13 a game. He's got three big ones there. Nine point lead for the Royals. Big rebound ripped down by Cockburn. Just out muscled Rivera. There's Walker. And Walker's called for the charge. A few offensive fouls on both sides early in this game. Minute 19 to go first quarter. Christ the King 16, St. Ray's 7 in a battle of two top 20 teams. Washington had that one poked away by Walker. And Isaiah takes it, triple team, lost it on the way up. It looked like Harrison Hunt got a good swipe at it. Alvarado, quick catch and fire, he's lethal. 19-7, and he's got his second three of the game. Pumped up today, too, and why not? Looking to make it two for two against St. Ray's this season. Step back, Silverio, who's been quiet, off the mark, tapped around, Harrison Hunt rips it down. And a dangerous pass is taken back away by Grant, downstairs, blocked by Alvarado, out of bounds. It'll stay on this end. 
Morocco. Alvarado doing it at both ends of the floor. Knocks down a three, comes back at the other end of the floor and gets a big block. Last touched by the Royals, so the basketball stays here. 20 ticks to go, first quarter, 12-point lead for the Royals. Silverio, multiple Division I offers will highlight coming up in the second quarter. Passes right side, jumper off the mark from Delaney. Follows his own miss and puts it back with the right hand. Alvarado will heave this one at the end of the first frame. So the Ravens close with a bucket, but Christ the King will head into the second frame with a 19-9 advantage in the second and final meeting of this regular season between the Royals and the Ravens. Second quarter action comes your way next right here from the Bronx on News 12 Varsity. The love, yeah, it's in our souls. The passion, it's in the cheers. And in that pivotal moment, we live and die with every pass, block, steal, and game-winning dunk. And we wouldn't want it any other way. Don't miss a minute. Download the News 12 Varsity app today. Quarter number two here at St. Ray's, and they handed out just jelly shirts when you were walking in earlier for the Jelly Fam frenzy that Isaiah Washington has been a part of in recent time. It's really become a phenomenon across high school and college basketball, especially on social media. Isaiah Washington is a Twitter sensation, and it really has blossomed into handing out Nike T-shirts. We had a look at them earlier before we tipped off here on Senior Day. And George Lopez and company honoring four seniors. It hasn't gone their way thus far. As we'll get a whistle down the other end of the floor. Which will keep the basketball with Christ the King, who owns a 19-9 advantage. But the packed house here, everybody was treated to a shirt. And some coaches from around the league here too. Tommy Frere from Mount St. Michael in the house. St. Peter's assistant coaches here as well. Saw Mike Sanborn earlier. Deep three from the right side is good for Jalen Davis. This young man's only a sophomore. He's got a smooth stroke. A 6'3 wing player. And it's 22-9. Christ the King. Of course, Richard Patino, the University of Minnesota head coach, is in the building. And that three-pointer for Silverio is good. It's 22 to 12. League president Paul Gilvary in the building as well. He came over and said hello to Elio Velez and I before tip. One of the good guys across the league. It's always nice to see Paul. And it's a busy time of the year as we get a foul on the Ravens here with the postseason and the seedings coming out next week. Five three-pointers as a team in that first quarter for Christ the King. Davis, Trey moments ago, was the sixth of the game. So Christ the King has been hot. Here's Alvarado trying to make it their seventh. Off the mark, high rebound grab by Phillips Joseph. To the basket, up and under, nicely done. Jalen Davis continues to play well here today. And here comes Washington. And he absorbs the contract, the contact, I should say, before the shot. The foul on the floor. Second personal foul on Tyson Walker. And the third on the Royals. High pass comes in for Rivera. Now for Severio. Mentioned his Division I offers. They include Fordham, Hofstra, Iona locally. VCU Santa Clara and South Florida as well. And Omar is fouled on his way to the rack. I believe that foul is on Phillips Joseph. Fourth on the Royals. And Omar knocks down the first. Delaware and Towson among the offers 
for Silverio as well, who has a high of 29 this season, averaging just under 12 a game. And he's two of two on that trip to the line, 24-14. Christ the King, six and change to go before the half. Cross-court pass for Jalen Davis, who's had the hot hand here today. Now on the outside, deep. Walker lets it fly in and out. Cockburn swiping at it, kept alive by Josephs, and he resets nicely for Walker. Walker inside, right hand wrapped it around. And the good defense downstairs, Rivera with the rebound. Here comes Washington. Absorbs the contact, fall away off the glass, a bit strong. Put back is good by Rivera. Single-digit deficit now for the Ravens. They trail 24-16. Touch pass inside Cockburn. Instantaneously double-teamed out of bounds. It'll stay on this end. Alvarado, left side double team, picks up his dribble. Jalen Davis. Walker, had a look at a three, takes it inside. Floater a bit short, falling to the left. He threw it up to the right. And here's Isaiah Washington. Right side, Silveria, quick catch and fire, got it. Rattled it home. It's a five-point game. And this crowd really getting into it with every basket. St. Ray's attempts. And you hear how loud it's getting. Inside, Cockburn, no dribble, turn around off the glass. And now they kick, Walker, catch and fire, wide open, he got it. They're knocking him down today. Seven threes already for the Royals. Washington answer, in and out. And the rebound lost, Alvarado able to scoop it up, Harrison Hunt lost it. Jose there for it. Right side, another three. That one's good. Christ the King on fire. And Jalen Davis continues to connect. A five-point lead is now back up to 11 for Christ the King. Step back, Silverio thought about it. Pass inside, Grant, right hand short. And the rebound, Cockburn. Here's Walker again. That one deflected. Nope, they say it wasn't touched by Kari Taylor. So it will be Ravens basketball from my angle. It looked like it was deflected. It was not. <laughs> Rivera thought about the three short, going one-on-one -on -one with Cockburn out of bounds. And it'll be Christ the King basketball, 3.36 to go in the second quarter. They lead by 11. Again, thanks as always for being with us on News 12 Varsity. Today's producer, Josh Drebsky. I'm Pete Mulroy. Elio Velez with us as well. Senior day here in the Bronx on the campus of St. Ray's Boys High School as Cockburn misfires from the free throw line. Scrum for the ball. And we get a held ball signal, which will keep it on this end of the floor. Zach Delaney, the senior, will come back in. He was one of four seniors honored prior to tip. Alvarado from another zip code. Amazing. A kid is just absolutely stellar. And he buries another three. A 14-point advantage for Christ the King. 3-12 to go in the second quarter. Timeout taken by Christ the King. Largest lead of the game for Christ the King. With 3-12 to go in the second quarter, they're up 33-19. 
team foul situation as we wind down time here in the first half. St. Ray's with five. Christ the King, four. No one player on either side really in particular foul trouble here thus far. Well, I mentioned earlier, Christ the King erased a double-digit deficit in the second half to come back and top St. Ray's to win the SNY Invitational. St. Ray's going to have to do a similar thing if they want to topple Christ the King here today on their senior day. They trail by 14 with 2.45 to go before the break. And here's a big reason why Jalen Davis inside in traffic came up short. That was partially deflected. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the Royals. Here's Alvarado. He'll try a bomb from this side, and he's unconscious tonight. 36-19. Washington tries to answer. Underhanded pass. Off the mark. Grant follows his own miss. Can't get it to go. Bounces around, and Harrison Hunt comes down with it. Royals lead by 17. And they will get a reach-in foul on Gary Grant. He grabbed the right arm of Jose Alvarado as he was making his way down the floor. So Alvarado has hit a couple of bombs on the last few possessions for Christ the King. For most players, those would be the shots where you hear the coach scream, no, 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 before they drop. I think Jose Alvarado has got as close to a guaranteed and consistent green light as it comes in each and every possession for the Royals. Kicks that one out. Davis thought about the three. Fires this one, front rim, high bounce, rebound, offensive put back, bounces around, and drops for Harrison Hunt. Tremendous hustle thus far for Christ the King, and they lead 38-19. And we'll get a bump and a foul here on Alvarado as he was guarding Washington. Buck 39 to go, and there's a look at two of the premier players in the city, Jose Alvarado and Isaiah Washington. Good inside look off the mark, a bit strong out of the hands of Delaney. The rebound tracked down by Silverio, who is a consistent hustler. Kid never stops. And here's Omar, splits two with the Euro step, left hand, glass, he nearly got it to drop, but a little head to the line for two. Tremendous athleticism as well. Hit his last two free throws. He'll have two more. Foul called on Jared Harrison Hunt. That's his first personal. Now both teams with six. With 80 seconds remaining before the break. First one short by Silverio. Omar, one of two on that trip. Tyson Walker will re-enter for Christ the King. There's Cockburn on the elbow. Alvarado comes to take the handoff. Baseline double team around, back outside. And they work the perimeter. Kick, Davis, three, off the mark. And the rebound for Harrison Hunt. Alvarado, another look at a three. That one around and out. Offensive board and the putback for Davis. He's fouled on the way up. Christ the King continues to get to work on the offensive glass. Down on this end as well, but it stands out the way they've been able to hit the glass and pull down offensive rebounds. It'll be two for Davis. First one drops, 39-20. Christ the King. A 20 point advantage, the largest for Christ the King. 50 seconds to go before the break. Christ the King 40, St. Ray's 20, Washington deep three, in and out. 
And the rebound deflected to Harrison Hunt. All the 50-50 balls going the way of Christ the King, at least so far in this opening 16 minutes of play. Here's Davis to the free throw line. Out kick for Alvarado. Now Davis in the paint. Left side, three on the way, off the mark. And we'll head the other direction with a foul on Alvarado. Excuse me, the foul was on Cockburn. Nicholas Rivera at the line for one and one. Both teams with seven team fouls now. <laughs> Phillips Joseph re enters as Coffee Cockburn takes his seat. Cockburn, only a sophomore, but already with offers from the local school, St. John's, Rutgers, and Seton Hall. Minnesota's offered as well. A 20.6 to go, second quarter. 18-point Christ the King lead. Good feed back inside, and then blocked away by Rivera. But the Royals maintain the possession. Here's Joseph with five in the half. Alvarado gave that one a look. And a pass up top. Joseph's a let it fly, and he knocks it down. <laughs> Folks, that's just the way things have gone for Christ the King. And conversely, how negative it's been in 16 minutes for St. Ray's on their home floor on senior day. Into the locker room, the Royals will run 43-22 on the road. Here in the Bronx, an impressive display on both ends of the floor. For Joe Arbatello and company, we'll take a break and rejoin you for the third quarter as the Royals will retake the floor with a 21-point lead in a battle of two top 20 teams on News 12 Varsity. Who will rise higher, dunk harder, and go farther? The playoffs are here. Tune to News 12 Varsity all postseason long moments away from starting the second half as we welcome you back to St. Ray's Boys High School here in the Bronx, New York. Alongside producer Josh Drebsky and Elio Velez, I'm Pete Mulroy. Thanks as always for being with us. 43-22, the Royals looking to make it two for two this season against St. Ray's and a 21-point lead. Christ the King in the opening 16 minutes of play was surgical. 11 three-pointers. Jose Alvarado with 14 points to lead all scores. Jalen Davis had 13, and Davis had 13 in the entire game in the SNY final. That victory over St. Ray's last month. He's already with 13 through 16 minutes. Washington starts the half with a jumper off the mark. Rebound and put back. Drops for Nicholas Rivera. So it's a good start to the second half for the Rays. Ravens, as they pull to within 19 at 43-24. Here's Cockburn at the elbow. Hand off for Alvarado. Cross court pass for Davis. Rivera on him. Now jump pass, Alvarado pumps on Washington. Underhead feed, Cockburn. Nicely done to the basket. And that's his first two points of the game. You wouldn't think Christ the King would be up 20 plus points and Kofi Cockburn would be off the scoreboard, but he was because of the outside shooting prowess of the Royals in the first half. That's his first two of the game. And it's back to a 21-point advantage. In for Silverio, who had nine in the first half for St. Ray's. Bumped bucket, and he'll go to the line. So Silverio goes into double figures. In and out on the free throw. 45-26, minute gone by here, third quarter. 
Christ the King for the moment comfortably ahead. Walker quick catch and fire, and it continues. That's the 12th three as a team for Christ the King, and they're up 22. So Vario keeps it himself, good steps down the lane, off the mark, rebound Davis. Underhanded pass intended for Cockburn, didn't catch it cleanly, but was able to dribble it once along the baseline. Corral it himself, and it's 50 to 26. It continues for Christ the King. Rivera, right hand around and down. And George Lopez is going to sneak in a quick timeout with 6-10 to go in the third quarter, but the Royals up 22. Six ten to go out of the St. Ray's timeout. 50-28, Christ the King. The ever-important lead. The Royals ranked number nine in the News 12 Tri-State Top 20. Pauls Alvarado knocks down another three. That'll give him 17 on the game. And St. Ray's number 16 in the poll. 13 and 10 overall to Christ the King's 15 and 7 record. Both teams third place in their respective divisions. Nicely done by Silverio, who's starting to get it going here in this game. Now with 13 points to eclipse his season average of 12. But the Royals up 23. Alvarado again, that time short. Long rebound track down. Davis corner. Walker three is good. And it just continues. I'm losing count of the threes. Is that 15, 14? 14 as a team now for Christ the King. Fall away, Washington short, Cockburn the rebound. And this one out of bounds, I believe. Harrison Hunt thought Davis was tracking behind him along the sideline. He almost impeded his progress by turning around that way. Out of bounds, Ravens basketball. Washington a three. Net didn't even move. 56-33, eight points for Washington. Pass knocked out of bounds. Good hustle by Zach Delaney. And this basketball out of bounds is going to stay on this end of the floor. In for Cockburn. Couple of dribbles for the big fella. Turn around with the right hand, a bit strong. Tapped back by Harrison. Hunt is strong. And the loose ball picked up by Darius Lee, who's been extremely quiet here today. Washington stops and knocks it down. It's a quick five for Isaiah. He goes to double figures, 56-35. And a foul on the way up will send Jalen Davis to the line. And Davis off the mark on the first. One of two on that trip for the sophomore. Approaching the midway point of this third quarter. And the Royals ahead by 22. Here's Washington again, and he continues. That's eight in a row for Isaiah Washington. He's got 13, and he's doing his best to bring the Ravens back into this one. Davis, quick catch and release, short. Silverio the rebound. And here comes Omar. Right side, Washington thought about the three, bobbing and weaving in traffic, kicks it out. Silverio's three, back iron. Rebound Washington, he'll back it out. Fresh 35 with 3.25 to go in the third. Isaiah with the right hand, blocked on his way to the basket, and the whistle comes in. Isaiah will go to the line for two. 
This is a young man who struggled last month against Christ the King. 10 points on 3 of 12 shooting. Averages 26 a game, had a high of 54 earlier this month in a 91-83 loss at Cardinal Hayes. And he's committed to play for Rich Pitino at the University of Minnesota. 57-40 as he hits a pair. St. Ray's chipping away with three minutes 15 to go on the third. Crowd back into it as well. Here's Davis, kick, Alvarado wide open, sets his feet, knocks it down, plus the foul. And he was wide open on the nice looking kick, unselfish kick at it by Jalen Davis, drawing the defense in. Jose able to set his feet, knock down the three, and he'll try to convert a four point play to put the Royals back up by 21. And he's got that confident grin at the free throw line. Short. And as he tried to follow his own shot, the free throw line infraction was called against the Royals and Alvarado will give the basketball to the Ravens. 20 point lead, 3.05 to go third quarter. Here's Rivera. Good look at a three, back iron. Alvarado up high for the rebound. And that one swiped away by Washington. Harrison Hunt down the lane, right-handed stuff. That play started so peacefully off the inbound and he ends it with thunder. Wow. 62-40, that got the CTK faithful on their feet. Alvarado, another one. Five quick ones for Christ the King. And in a blink of an eye, they're back up 25. Silverio nicely done. Takes it down the floor and lays it in. But whoa. Harrison Hunt took an innocent bounce pass in. Then went right down the lane with a power jam. Alvarado answers on a quick catch and fire. Five straight for Christ the King before Omar Silverio laid it in. Timeout on the floor, 65-42. Everything going the way for a smiling Jose Alvarado. Two twenty-eight to go. Christ the King, 65, St. Ray's, 42. And some theatrics moments ago by the Royals. Walker setting up the offense for Christ the King, and he's fouled up top away from the basket. Harrison Hunnell inbound on the far sideline. And Harrison Hunt, the foul. A nice spin and fall away. Moments removed after stuffing it down with his right hand. And the sophomore, the 6'6 sophomore, will head to the line for two. Under two minutes remaining here, third quarter as well. Strong on the first attempt. Oh, of two on that trip with the rebound. It hit the back of the iron hard, allowing Tyson Walker to track it down. Now Walker, catch three, in and out. And we'll have a foul on the floor. We'll see who that one goes against officially. It's on Silverio. Second personal on Omar. Inside Cockburn. 
And he shuffled his feet. Here's Washington with a buck 35 to go. Fouled on the way up. He'll go to the line for two. He's had a solid third quarter. Only problem is Christ the King has continued to shoot well. And they remain up by a comfortable 23 points at 65-42. In and out on the first. Here comes Alvarado across midcourt, met by Washington. Step into the corner, three short. And the loose ball rolls out, Alvarado diving down for trying to get the timeout and does. With a minute 17, it'll remain Royals' possession. And the 30-second timeout will allow the Royals to talk things over. Now the postseason right around the corner and will have Comprehensive coverage at News 12. The New York AA semifinals will be February 21st at Mount St. Michael Academy. Tip times for both of those games will be at 6 and 8 p.m. the following night. Wednesday, the 22nd, the Brooklyn Queens AA semifinals will be at Christ the King High School. Same time, 6 and 8 p.m. We'll be there from start to finish. We'll have coverage of the final as well, which is on the 25th of February. And then we'll move into the always entertaining city playoffs, which culminates with the final on the boys and girls level on the AA A and B at Fordham University, the famous Rose Hill Gymnasium. There's Tyson Walker as we go under a minute in the third quarter. Needless to say, we'll have coverage of the city finals for the boys and girls as well. Cockburn went up for the stuff off the feed from Alvarado. Not able to get it to go. Alvarado turn and chuck off the mark. Silverio racing down. And now Washington, right hand. There he lays it in. There's one of those jellies. And he got the crowd wearing the Just Jelly shirt to stand up after that one. <laughs> I hadn't seen it, but there you go. Fifteen seconds to go. Shot clock and game clock match here in the third. So the Royals content to hold for the final shot of the frame. Here's Walker. Down the lane, turn around, out kick. Three on the way is good for Phillips Joseph. And he beats the buzzer in the third like he beat the buzzer going into halftime. 68-45, number nine, Christ the King, all over number 16, St. Ray's, as we head into the fourth and final frame here in the Bronx on News 12 Varsity. Who will rise higher? Dunk harder farther. The playoffs are here. Tune to News 12 Varsity all postseason long. Christ the King will start the fourth quarter with the basketball and the ever important 68-45 advantage. Producer Josh Drebsky, I'm Pete Mulroy, Elio, Elio Velez here as well. Thanks for being with us on News 12 Varsity. It's Christ the King looking to improve to 16 and 7. St. Rayers lead a comeback for their 14th win of the season. And a good start to the frame for Tyson Walker. 70 to 45. Christ the King. Washington trying to answer out of bounds. It'll remain Ravens ball. Washington from deep. Back iron, high rebound. Off the hands of DeMarco Watson. 
And then a foul comes in on the floor against St. Ray's. A foul on Washington. Six-team foul on the Ravens. First for Isaiah. Inside Cockburn, catch glass it in. It's easy when you're 6'11 to take an interior pass and turn around without barely jumping and lay it in. 72 45, Christ the King. Here's Rivera, baseline, floater, right hand. He's good. He's played well today as the 6'5 junior, Nicholas Rivera. And Christ the King knocked down 11 three pointers in the first half, continued that impressive trend into the third quarter. And they're up 25 here with a minute 10 gone by in the fourth. Walker to the line for one and one. It was the seventh team foul on St. Ray's. Tyson hits the first. Around and out on the second. Lee had it swiped away by Alvarado. Six thirty-five remaining to the basket, Silverio, in a game that time-wise has flown by. And after the basket, the inbound pass out of bounds. It's going to stay with St. Ray's, 73-49. Silverio again, and he's smacked on the way up. So Omar will go to the line for two more. And he knocks down the first one. He had 18 in the first meeting at CCNY last month. He's on his way to eclipsing that here today. Walker double team, cross court pass, quick catch and fire. And Jalen Davis has had the stroke here today. Continues to play well. Washington loses this one. Davis behind the back. No look pass for Walker. Wraps it around the baseline. Out, Davis pumps on a three. Inside, Joseph up and under short. Rebound, put back, good for Harrison Hunt. And things just continue to go on the uptick for Christ the King. 5.45 to go, 30-second T.O. called. With Christ the King comfortably in front. So Vario off the inbound, now for Lee. Darius with the right hand off the mark. And the rebound taken down by Alvarado. And here comes Jose up top. And he nearly had it with Phillips Joseph. And racing down the other end of the floor and finishing is Silverio. Some more size on the floor for Christ the King. Adam El Gamel is into the game, number 44. Had the last basket for the Royals. There's Davis again, jumper around and out, about, about half of the way down before spinning out. Cross court, Silverio. Knocks that one down. So the three for Omar with 4.48 to go in the game. 
77-56, Christ the King. Kept in by Rivera. Silverio fighting for positioning. And the loose ball finally taken by DeMarco Watson, the freshman. Here's Washington with the right hand and down. They, they, they eat that up, the crowd. <laughs> Hence the shirts. Cross court, wide open Walker, off the mark. Here comes Washington, cross court, three, Silverio off the mark. Alvarado the rebound, and then a reach-in foul called on Watson. That'll put Jose at the line for one and one, eighth team foul on St. Ray's. Jose hits a pair, 79-58, as we hit the midway point of this fourth and final quarter. Omar spin at the free throw line, fouled on the way up. No, oh, Christ the King has had their fair share of success Probably an understatement in the city tournament. Championships in 2010, 11, 13, 14, and 15. In 2012, when they didn't win the city title, that went to St. Ray's, who was then coached by Oliver Antigua. Silverio rattles the second one home. 79-59 Royals. Pass deflected out of bounds, intended for Cockburn, and it'll be Ravens basketball. Here's Silverio to the basket. That one hung up on the front of the rim. He'll go back to the line. Despite the struggles for the Ravens, I think it is safe to say, and everyone who follows this league would agree, it's a tough team. They're going to be tough in their divisional playoffs in the New York Double A, and they will be a tough out in the city tournament as well. And across the board, in the A Division too, it's it's been a crazy year. Elio said to me before the game, there's probably eight teams that you could consider legitimate contenders to win the city title. You're looking at two of them. Bishop Lachlan, Archbishop Malloy, Stepanek, Tommy Frere's Mount team. It's going to be fun when we get to that tournament, as it always is. Perhaps more so this season. Monsignor Scanlon is a dangerous team. Cardinal Hayes is a dangerous team. Iona Prep is scrappy. All those teams well coached as well. 3.30 to go, 79-60, Christ the King with the big advantage. Here's Rivera who continues his strong effort. Ravens have it down to 17. And they'll back it out for Alvarado, always a smart decision. Guarded tightly by Washington who takes it away. And here comes Isaiah, up, oh, blocked away. Big time defensive play by Harrison Hunt. And he had a ferocious throwdown earlier in this half. And now he comes up with a big play because Washington was seeing green. There's Washington, stuttered down the lane, reverses and lays it in. 79-64, Coach Arbatello not thrilled. 
He'll take a timeout with 2.54 to go on the fourth. And it'll be a full. Two fifty-four to go, fourth quarter. Fifteen-point game. Christ the King, seventy-nine. Saint Rays, sixty-four. High pass, Alvarado up to get it. And here comes Jose. Picks up his dribble, bounces it out for Walker. Splits two. Left-handed pass for Jalen Davis, and they reset for Alvarado. Here's Davis to the free throw line. Now they work it into the corner for Walker. Now for Alvarado, dangerous pants, bouncer. Davis pumps on a three baseline, shovel pass inside. Cockburn lost it out of bounds on that end line. It'll be Christ to King Basketball. They'll have five to shoot. Now they work the clock, which is the positive. A good defense by St. Ray's. We'll see what happens here. Five to shoot for the Royals. In for Cockburn. Walker pumps, gets Washington in the air. Three, off the mark. Rebound tapped out by Watson, picked up Silverio. Here comes Omar, he lays it in. 79-66, 2 10 to go. Well, the Ravens have cut it to 13. And here's Davis. Jalen again, throws it for Cockburn. A couple dribbles, spin, off the glass. That's beautiful. Nice to have size. 81-66. Washington trying to answer short off the glass. And here's Alvarado. Football pass down the floor for Davis, and he gets it back. One hand over. Walker underneath. Reverse off the glass and in. Four quick ones for Christ the King, and they're back up 17 with 90 seconds to go. This place still packed with a JV game and freshman game to follow. And a good crowd on hand with lousy weather outside and a game that was originally supposed to tip off at 4.30. Timeout taken by St. Ray's. CTK up 17 with a buck 26 to go here on News 12. <laughs> 80 seconds remaining. Regulation time, here's Silverio off the feed from Washington to the basket. Partially deflected on the way up. Cockburn hustles it down in the corner, throws it back in. Rivera to Silverio, lays it in. 83-68 as we hit the final minute of play here on senior day at St. Ray's High School in the Bronx, New York. Harrison Hunts had a good two-way game tonight offensively. And defensively, bad pass there, however. Alvarado able to track it down. Tried to go between the legs and get cute. Washington, and that one swatted away. Another block for Harrison Hunt, right on cue. Here's Walker, throws it right side. and A traveling violation called with 36.4 to go. So Christ the King will improve to 16 and 7 overall. St. Ray's will drop to 13 and 11. Baseline right hand off the mark. Rivera continues to work hard. Not able to get that one. Follows the miss. A bit strong. Rebound by Jalen Davis. You know, as well as Jose Alvarado's play today, Jalen Davis might be the MVP of this game for Christ the King. The young man has been outstanding. And Christ the King will make it two for two this season against George Lopez and the St. Raymond's Ravens. Don't be surprised if these teams see each other again in the city playoffs. It'd be a fun matchup. The first time the Royals got the better of the Ravens, 67-66 today. An impressive 83-68 victory. They wrap things up in style. A couple more basketball games to be played here tonight on the JV and freshman levels for St. Ray's and Christ the King. But for today's producer, Josh Drebski and Elio Velez, who will have his post-game story up on news12varsity.com at the conclusion of this one, I'm Pete Mulroy. Thanks, as always, for joining us. 16th win of the season for number 9, Christ the King, 83-68 over number 16, St. Ray's, who dropped to 13-11. and 11. We'll talk to you again come postseason time real soon. The love, yeah, it's in our souls. The passion, 
It's in the cheers. And in that pivotal moment, we live and die with every pass, block, steal, and game-winning dunk. And we wouldn't want it any other way. Don't miss a minute. Download the News 12 Varsity app today.